Cancer, I hope you're doing good today. You know, I tried to film this yesterday. There was so much noise going on in the background that I was like, I quit. I'm not doing this anymore. But um, yeah, I just woke up. I'm a bit discombobulated. But this is the best time for me to be doing readings when I'm most connected to the ether. So I hope you guys are doing good. If you don't know me, my name is Alex. Welcome. But let's see what's going on for you guys today. This is just whatever comes out. They're doing construction outside, like major construction outside, and so it's just so freaking loud. So if you can still hear that, I'm sorry. It was even louder yesterday, so I'm like, but I can't stop doing tarot. So. Cancer, I see you meeting new friends. We have the Hermit reversed and the Three of Cups reversed. I don't know if you left a friend group behind or something, but I feel like... You're just not really talking to these people anymore or you don't want to and it's time to come out of hermit mode. You then have the Knight of Pentacles reversed and the Page of Swords reversed. Um, I don't know why. I feel like you're cutting people off. So I don't know who this is for. Overall, we have the Four of Cups reversed and the Two of Pentacles reversed. Hmm. Whoever you've been surrounded by hasn't really been... I don't know. Maybe it's not... Maybe it's not that you don't like them anymore. It's just kind of like you need to go somewhere else. Like you need to move forward. You need a new adventure or something. Tell me more about this. This could be like a co-worker situation. Cancer, I see you feeling very, very unstable right now. I don't know who you're moving away from. Or what you're moving away from. You have the Two of Pentacles reverse. You feel very unbalanced right now. I also feel like with the Queen of Cups reverse and the Emperor reverse, this friend group maybe included um, a romantic partner. And in the sense of like, I don't know, for me, like, I know, like, how do I explain this? It's really hard to relate to your group of friends when you're when you're wanting something different in your relationships. Like say you don't want toxic relationships anymore, but your friends are still in toxic relationships. It's really hard to relate to them. And it's like it's not that I don't want to be friends with you guys, I just don't like I'm trying to do better for myself and I don't really know what to do, you know? That's kind of what I feel like. We have the three of pentacles reversed, which tells me like you don't really want to collaborate with these people anymore. This is also like the coworkers or school, school people card. So school people, schoolmate, whatever. Um, overall, we have the King of Pentacles reversed and the uh, Eight of Pentacles reversed. I, I don't know why. I don't think that this is your money that's messed up. I feel like, yeah, I don't think this is your money. I think this is you trying to figure out where to like invest. That's what it feels like. Investing feels like a really, really, that, that really like resonates right now. Like where do you want to invest your time? Where do you want to invest your resources? Do you not like your job? Do you invest too much at your job? You know what I'm saying? What's the advice for cancer? This is a tough reading. I feel like this is a um, like a growth reading. I don't think that there's anything bad coming towards you. You know, like I don't really think that there's anything to warn you about. I guess is what I'm trying to say. With the Empress reversed, I just feel like you think you have to keep making things happen when you should just be kind of like opening yourself up for opportunities to be presented to you. There, I, 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 when I first saw this, I was like, relax, relax. There's a lot of major arcana here. Lots of big changes. We have the high priestess that came out as a challenge. We have the sun that came out as a challenge. I think you're trying way too hard to be happy. I think you're trying way, way, way too hard to be happy. If you kind of just let things flow, I mean, it's really hard. As, as someone with like severe anxiety, 
it's really hard to listen to someone who's just like, relax, be happy. <laughs> like, I, I totally get that. But there are some things that you just can't control. And if you want different for your life, you're going to have to let some people go. And that's just normal. And instead of like dwelling on it, it's just time to accept it and move forward. You know, that's what's going to help you recover. That's what's going to help you put your heart back together if you feel heartbroken. Overall, we have the Six of Cups and the Moon. I think there's something here about like your childhood that's kind of hidden. Like maybe you went through a similar situation in your childhood. Um, no, that doesn't feel right. I mean, that could resonate for some of you. That doesn't feel right. I think you might. I think you, I think you've known these people for a long time. That that feels better. I think you've known these people for a long time. And I'm not really so sure that they know that you want to move on. But like, you know, <laughs> the moon is like hiding stuff, secrets. And the six of cups is um, the past. I, I think you've known these people for a long time. I think that they're very embedded into your life. And you don't really know how to fully let them go. Or at least tell them that you have to step away for a while, you know? What's coming next for Cancer? Ooh, King of Wands. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Nice! Okay. Definitely getting a lot better. So I think letting these people go is for the best. And it's not that you don't have to be friends with them anymore. It's not that you have to, like, make a scene and be like, I don't ever want to be friends with you again. I don't ever want to be friends with you again. Like, that's not what I'm getting. Um, we have the Justice Reverse with the Well. This is not reverse. Why did I say that? You, I, okay. You might have felt like stuff has been very, very unfair for you. So maybe that's why I said that. But we have the Justice and the Well. I feel like if something, if something has been unfair for you, it's going to turn around soon. And you're going to be nurturing relationships and other situations that are just more suited for like what you're going through and honestly where you want to go yeah then we have the death reversed here you've gotten a lot of major arcana today this is a really big shift for you this is very internal i feel like this is very like yes like getting rid of or moving away from friendships is very external but like this feels mostly internal this is a big big internal shift uh, don't again don't resist change I do feel like you will be stepping into your power with the king of wands as well I feel like after you kind of just figure out how to be in flow and let opportunities flow to you you're gonna attract a lot more opportunities than you're aware of Overall, we have the Five of Swords reverse and the Knight of Pentacles reverse. Again, it's this energy of just like waving the white flag. Like you need to wave the white flag. You need to take the L and learn how to move forward accordingly. Like I, I feel like with the Five of Swords, I feel like these people that you've been friends with or surrounded by, I feel like they're comfortable where they're at and that's fine for them, but you're not. And there needs to be some sort of shift with you. It's time, you know, you can't take everybody with you, you know? So, um, wave the white flag. It's time to do what's best for you. We have Libra and Scorpio here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Don't pay too much attention to the signs, but yeah, Cancer, that's what I have for you. A really big internal shift is happening. Um, I love you guys so much. Je definitely check out your July love reading and what else? Make sure to subscribe so that you're notified for new videos almost every single day. I'll see you guys later. Bye! Thank <laughs> you.